Welcome back YouTube family and it's Tim again. Um, today what we're going to do guys is we're going gluten free. Alright, these are another couple of products that I've purchased from Aldi. And they're a product from Thailand. So Sawadee Cup to all my friends from Thailand. Hope everyone's well and welcome to all my other subscribers and friends as well all around the world. Thank you very much guys. We're getting uh, more and more subscribers each day. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, and thank you for joining the journey with me. All right, guys. Uh, as you all know, I'm on night shift. So I've been working a uh, night shift. I've got a few more to go. Um, so I've just woken up and I thought, you know what? I've got to do something. And I remember that I had these products. Uh, so I had to do a bit of a taste test with these. Now, we've done um, these noodle boxes before. But there were different ones. Now these ones are gluten free and these ones are from Audi. The other ones were from Woolworths. Alright guys, so let's have a bit of a sit. Let's go through it. Uh, we'll heat them up and uh, we'll have a bit of a taste and see how we go. Alright. Alright guys, so we've got one's chicken korma noodles and the other one's chicken satay noodles. Now the ones we had before, they were rice on rice and they were from Thailand as well but these ones are actually wheat free yeast free and um, so what we'll do is I'll start heating up the chicken korma noodles and we'll go from there all right and then we'll have a bit of a read as that heats up all right so now that tells me that it takes about 90 seconds that's on a 1100 watt uh, microwave so I'll just show you inside guys that's how it comes inside all right so you've got your noodles all right and you've got your sauce with the chicken and everything. Now yeah, it says to heat up in the box. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open these up. And we'll put in the box and we'll heat them up. And I'll have a bit of a read once it comes out. Oh, we'll read the other one actually. Because they'll be similar. Right, so pour your noodles in the box. We'll break them up. See the noodles look different because they're gluten free. So there's no fair or yeast or anything like that. So I'll break them up in there. All right, so that's what the noodles look like, because they're gluten free. We'll just get rid of this. Sorry about the fly in the background, guys. Oh, they're bloody terrible these days, because it's summer, and I'll keep all the screens shut, but you know what, they latch onto my back. They latch, oh, that smells all right. They latch onto my back, and they bloody come in on my back, through the door. And I hate flies, they're bloody annoying. Anyway, let's carry on. I hope everyone's well, guys. I hope you're enjoying your day. I hope the other day you just took all my uh, positive energy and you made good out of it. Because that's what I like. I like to um, share my positivity around with everyone, guys. And that's the biggest thing in life, you know what? Just try and be positive, stay strong. It doesn't matter what you're going through. I know it's not easy, like I always say. But, yeah, just try and be strong, guys. Try and be there for one another. Love each other, you know, and um, everything will be okay. Trust me. Everything will be okay as long as you're positive. All right, guys. So I'm going to close that one up. It actually says close the lid up. So I'll chuck that one in the microwave. It won't be long. I'm actually going to go one minute on that one. It says uh, 90 seconds. I mean, my microwave is super, super strong. But I'm just going to give it a minute. All right, well, that's heating up, guys, because it's got the same similar thing. Uh, so these are chicken satay ones. Uh, they include 350 grams of noodles, 150 grams of chicken and sauce. All right, they're whip free yeast-free, and they drop out of your hand because they're still alive. I don't know, I just made that up. Being stupid again. All right, so they say it contains peanuts, may contain crustaceous egg, fresh milk, sesame, soy, and tree nuts. All right, made in Thailand. I'll show you guys. Made in Thailand. All right, no artificial flavors, no preservatives, good source of protein, good source of dietary fiber, made with chicken breast. Microwave, 1,100 watt. Open pouches, tip contents in the box and close lid. Heat high for 90 seconds. Stir well and enjoy. Caution, meal and container may be hot. Handle with care. Alright, so the first one's ready, guys. So I'm just going to prepare this one. Oh, I ripped the box. I must be a little bit excited because I'm doing another video for you guys. 
I thought, you know what, I'll pop one in there. You know what, Dead can't resist, guys. You know I can't resist. Alright, so there's the other one, guys. Still got the noodles. So we'll cut that one open. Oh, I've never tried too many gluten-free products, but I thought, you know what? We've got to look after our vegetarian and our gluten-free uh, followers as well. And uh, if you, you guys might not be sure of this product. I'm not sure if you've got Aldi or maybe you've got it in a different store they sell it in. All right, so this one's the satay chicken, guys. So we'll open that one up. I can smell the other one, it smells okay. Oh, yeah. All right. No one's got peas and chicken and sauce and anything. I'll show you guys in a sec. And then I'll pull the other one out. And then we'll heat this one up and we'll give this one a try as well. Yeah, there's different varieties there as well, guys. I didn't want to get the whole lot. That's too much for me. That's what it looks like inside. All right, that's the satay chicken or chicken satay. So we'll close the lid. We'll put that one on. And we'll grab the other one out. Ooh, that's very hot. All right, we'll whack that one in for a minute. Sorry about the loud noise. All right, so that's our chicken korma, guys. Let's open our box up. Be careful when you open it up. Ooh, that's hot. All right, so that's what it looks like inside. We'll give that a bit of a mix. It smells okay. All right. Let's have a bit of a taste test. There we go. Hmm. It's not bad, you know what? The only difference you can tell, you can tell it's flour free. But the flavour of the sauce, the chicken, the meat, everything else, is like really, really nice. You can smell the herbs, the flavors, everything. Oh, it's even like chickpeas. I think it's a chickpea. No, it's a chickpea, guys. I'll have a bit more. I'll try and get it closer. There we go. <coughs> Went down the wrong way, sorry. Alright guys, that one tastes really good, alright, it's not bad, let's try the next one, and then we'll do a bit of a, a rating on it, alright, so that's our chicken satay one, oh, that looks alright, interesting, alright, mix that up, look quality wise, it's not as good as the Woolworths ones. I'm only saying that because probably because it's like gluten free because of the flour texture. But for a person that's gluten free or does not have gluten, I'd say it's perfect. All right, so a bit of a taste test on that one. It's got peas and everything. Mmm. You can taste the peanuts, the sauce, the noodles, the vegetables. Not bad. It's actually not bad. Wow. Hmm. All right, guys. I'll give you my opinion. If I was to go and buy these products again, I would. Okay, the good thing about it is they're wheat free and yeast free. I'm not I'm not gluten free myself personally, uh, but I have tried other products. Uh, taste wise, they're very very good. They've got a lot of flavour. You can feel the kick in the back of your tongue. Noodles are good because they're wheat free and they're yeast free, so they've got a little bit of a different texture to them. They're good. Flavor-wise, if I was to rate them, and taste-wise, the chicken korma, 
I'd say 8 out of 10. The chicken satay noodles, again, I'm going to be fair, and I'm going to say 8 out of 10. The only reason why I'm saying that is I'm not giving it a lower score is because I'm not a big fan of chicken satay myself, but I'm not going to judge it because I don't like chicken satay. Okay, so I'll be fair and I'll give them both 8 out of 10. And if I was to buy them, I'd buy them again. And uh, you can buy these from Aldi and I'm pretty sure they were $3.60 each, guys. So they're enough for one meal each. And um, because Wog Dad loves a lot of food and I'm always hungry. And I haven't eaten pretty well because of uh, the last chilli uh, taste test competitions and this and that and everything I've done. The stomach uh, is a little bit like weird, you know what I mean? So it needed a little bit of a rest and a bit of a healing. But uh, otherwise, guys, uh, yeah, I love these. And anyway, guys, uh, keep an eye out. I've got a few uh, new different dishes coming up soon. I've got them planned. I've got them organized. Uh, a couple more days later, hopefully, maybe even tomorrow. If I'm up to scratch, I might even do my... Um, Korean dish. I'm not going to mention what it is because I can't actually remember the name, but it looks absolutely amazing and it looks tasty. And I love Korean food. And uh, yeah, thank you to all my Thai friends, uh, Kop Kun Kup, and thank you to all my other followers from all around the world, whether you're from Australia, India, Turkey, wherever you're from. You're all my brothers and sisters, and thank you very much for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. You guys are the best. And uh, thank you for coming on to the journey with me, and I really appreciate it, guys. All right. I'm going to catch you guys later because I've got to go. I've got to have a bit more of a rest. All right. And um, take care. Bye.